All right. Does the consti- does quoting the Constitution uh, co- uh, um, give like a satisfaction to the complainant? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe that go launching into all these constitutional um, references and and court cases that you know the law says it's this way that we we have the freedom for the all the amendments that that's going to settle the matter that the the complainant has initially all right yeah i mean the constitutionalists are unemotional and and they're like mathematicians they just they just want to get the facts out there's 2 plus 2 is 4 you just you writing it on the chalkboard how the equation is supposed to to come out uh, but you got to think all of these court cases were fought on an emotional basis there was a lot of emotion that that came out i mean th- there was the motivation of of uh, being hurt and upset and sad and and all of that all of that came out in the court case and then what we see as a result is is a state or country versus such and such a person that resulted and then then the the judge is trying to to write um, something that looks fair and and uh, also also respects the constitution the constitution was written after a lot of emotional issues the people getting upset with each other and and it was, it was just they're they're trying to strike a little bit of a balance adding adding all the emotions up and and then coming up with a, a conclusion the constitution is not perfect all right <clears throat> quoting it is not quoting perfection so referring to it all the time and expecting that to reduce the the conflict reduce the tension in in the an initial complaint to the conflict it's it's probably not the best way to go we're all psychological and we all have emotions if somebody's upset cops that's the first thing the cops are really trained for they they may not be so good at at constitutional stuff they'll you'll even have some cops that'll ask are you a constitutionalist maybe the cops don't really know the constitution that well they're they're focused on i i believe they're focused on the emotion and and just um like just what what looks out of place because they're out there driving around all the time seeing what looks normal okay this guy is usually parked here every day when i drive by and and uh there's only there's so many cars in this in this lot oh why why is this parking lot got like more cars than usual oh there must be an event oh maybe i should look around that they're just they're looking for patterns it's daily hourly yearly depending on how much experience they have uh younger people yeah they're looking at more short-term patterns and learning those whereas the longer term people on patrol are learning the long-term patrols what happens every every year every five years every 10 years um depends on how long they last uh, as as a as a cop but they're 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 learning a lot different things uh to 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 keep the peace okay the constitution the constitution um it's it's hard to say that's that's really about peace that's that's our civil rights at but um when there's when there's conflict like when i had this guy complaining about me recording his yard he didn't care about the constitution he he just he just wanted um some some uh some semblance he wanted some he wanted some comfort in his mind that that uh this wasn't going to result in anything in the future against him in some way maybe 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 i could have been uh an ex uh, a boyfriend of, of his ex-wife or something I, and and i'm i'm uh, i'm staking out his place because maybe he was he was uh harassing her and and they want to prevent that or something um, there's, there's that. I actually had a situation 
in Springfield, Oregon, where I was I wanted to have my car worked on. I still need it worked on, but I show up at this shop like two weeks after I talk to a guy, and apparently I find out he he's no longer there. He got kicked out. But as I was recording, walking up to this building, the property owner came out and was just like, "What are you doing? Why are you, why are you here recording?" And he he thought I was maybe like working for the the guy who was renting there and there was that conflict what was I gonna do start launching in to my constitutional rights to record I don't think so I, I want to find I, I gotta like I gotta settle the matter the emotional matter at the time and then uh, go into constitutional arguments that's why uh, police are the, the first in line to, to settle the emotional issues first, write the tickets a little a afterward. You don't just go up and start writing tickets. You settle the emotional issues first, and then if you think that there's some legality issues that you got to take care of, then do those. And then you fight the constitutional, you, 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 you stand up for your constitutional rights in the courts where people can sit down and, and, and read their books, go through case by case, and, and do their, their mathematical equations and, and all that for their arguments and all that, and prepare and, and plan and, 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 and all of that. But uh, in, the, in the moment when there's, there's an issue, uh, me recording somebody's house, there's a lot of emotion going on there that needs to, be get, needs to get worked out first.